Hi, it's Jolene from Yummy Inspirations. Today I'm going to share with you a whole week of low-carb breakfast ideas, starting with these fried eggs and mushrooms. So keep watching, I'm going to show you how to make this, as well as a whole week's worth of yummy, low-carb, keto-friendly breakfast ideas. And just so you know, there will be a blog post down below with all of the information, how to make all of these breakfasts and everything else you need for yummy low carb breakfast. And make sure if you're not already subscribed, you hit that subscribe button now. I share videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So subscribe because I've got lots of low carb. I film low carb what I eat in a day, grocery hauls, meal ideas, yummy sweets, all kinds of things. So make sure you subscribe to get notified when something comes out. And let's get straight into making breakfast. Breakfast. It's Friday morning and my breakfast this morning is going to be garlic infused mushrooms and fried eggs. I love this breakfast. I've made it actually quite a few times since I've been low carb. So I'm starting off my low carb breakfast ideas with this breakfast. So I've got a generous portion of butter in there and I'm sizzling away some, <laughs> you can see it, some really roughly cut chunks of garlic. Um, I do one huge clove per person. I'm making this for my husband and I for breakfast. So we each have one clove of garlic and I'm just going to pop in after this about a cup or so of sliced mushrooms and we're just going to saute that away until it is reduced and golden and just full of flavor. And then we're going to top it with fried eggs but I will show you as we go. So this is uh, the garlic that I am making nice and golden in my butter. And the mushrooms are in. I'm just going to saute these till they reduce and then fry up my eggs. The mushrooms are almost done so I've moved to the side and now I've popped a bit more butter in and I'm just going to fry up four eggs. There we go. The mushrooms are nice and looking golden and reducing there and I've got my four eggs frying. Two for me, two for hubby and half of this each will be our breakfast. Breakfast number one is done. Look at that. Beautiful fried eggs and mushrooms and garlic. Smell so good. Can't wait to tuck into them. And this would also be great topped with a little bit of feta or goat's cheese. I've had it with Persian feta. It's so good. Or even brie or in regular cheddar cheese. It's just kind of cheese and mushrooms go well together in the whole mix. Yum. What a beautiful breakfast. So that's my low carb breakfast number two. And keep watching. And I've got a whole number one <laughs> I've got a whole week of low carb breakfast coming up right now this is my breakfast morning number two I've made a big cheesy omelette I don't know if you can see there's cheese oozing out the side of it oh yummy and I've served it with a big dollop of sour cream and I've sauteed some spinach once I'd fried up the omelette I sauteed spinach with it it's just a basic cheese omelette I beat together a couple of eggs and a little bit of cream and I just cook the omelette and put cheese inside it and let it go gooey and oozy and mm, melty cheese and just popped it on my plate and then afterwards in the frying pan I sauteed spinach and I've just popped a bit of salt over the top of it and we've got sour cream that's my breakfast for day number two just another simple breakfast in my week of breakfasts Look at my breakfast this morning I've got a whole beautiful portion of scrambled eggs and I've sauteed some asparagus we're just in spring here in Melbourne and we've got asparagus everywhere so I've been having asparagus loads lately so that's half a bunch of asparagus a whole lot of scrambled eggs I made I whipped it with a little bit of whipped cream and um, four eggs a bit of whipped cream and two I made half for myself, half for my husband, so that's what it looks like. And I've got a couple of pieces of smoked salmon and sour cream. This is just oh, one of my favorite breakfasts. I've made this quite a few times in the last few weeks. Smoked salmon, asparagus, and scrambled eggs and sour cream. Simple, four beautiful, whole, natural ingredients. Beautiful breakfast. So that is today's breakfast, breakfast number three. Good morning, and now this morning my low carb breakfast <laughs> might not look like much. Last night we made roast leg of lamb for roast. I had shoulder of lamb for dinner, and I cooked it with 
cauliflower which I've just broken up into little pieces and I'm going to fry up and surprise surprise cook it with eggs well this week is all about eggs I'm going to share with you all through the week as you've been seeing different ways to enjoy low carb meals breakfast with eggs and um, this whole video is full of eggs yep lots of fried eggs but also lots of different sides and so it's not the same thing every morning and um, in a few weeks I'm going to share with you a video of low carb breakfasts with no eggs so this week is very egg heavy I like to balance it out and um, yep so I'm just going to fry these up look at them bubbling away nicely browning them up a little bit more and um, I'll show it to you once it's all put together and there you go, my completed breakfast cauliflower that I've just fried. It's all golden and crispy. Oh, and the steamy eggs, two fried eggs, which I fried alongside it. You can see the cauliflower is all embedded in the whites over there. Oh, it's still steamy. Um, so that's my breakfast this morning. Oh, um, beautiful cauliflower from leftover roast chicken. It's kind of soft and it's kind of, oh, it's just I just sn snuck a little taste before. It's just beautiful. I'm going to do this in the future. Every time I roast, I'm going to roast cauliflower so I can make this the next morning for breakfast. Yum! So keep watching. We've got a couple more breakfasts to go. This morning, I am making another omelette. Well, another <laughs> egg. I'm making an omelette. Uh, kind of open omelette. You'll see when it's done. I'm just getting my egg nice and cooked. And I'm going to share this with my husband. So I will keep you posted as I'm doing it. The eggs are cooking nicely. What I do is I cut it in half like that, and I'll attempt in a second to flip it over to the other side. And then my husband and I have half a big omelette each. So that's with four eggs, a bit of cream, cooked in butter, and um, we each have half an omelette. So two eggs each for breakfast. Mission accomplished. I've flipped it over. I'll just cook it for a few more seconds and then take it off the heat and build up my omelette. There we go, my open omelettes on the plate. And now what I'm gonna do is put some sour cream and some other ingredients on, and I'll show you when it's magically transformed into my big breakfast plate. And there you go, my finished breakfast. I've got my open omelette, and I've smothered it in sour cream, and I've topped it with chopped avocado and halloumi, which I just quickly browned off and cut into little pieces. And that is my breakfast. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it up and I'll show you that once I've got my breakfast roll up. There you go, I've rolled up my little, it's kind of like a breakfast burrito. Oh, it's open on that side. It's a little breakfast burrito, look at that. Yum. You could of course roll it up with all kinds of things. I'll leave a link down below to all the information as I've said on this video and I'll give you lots of ideas of what you can fill your breakfast burrito with. I've made a couple of different varieties of this and mm, so yum. Right, I'm going to have breakfast and I'll be back tomorrow. Some mornings when you just don't feel like cooking and you want something cold for breakfast and you still want to have your eggs, um, make deviled eggs. I always keep hard boiled eggs in my fridge so that I can make deviled eggs or hard boiled eggs or just do whatever I want to with it, make a salad, do all kinds of things. Um, and so this is my breakfast this morning, a little bit unusual, but you know, uh -huh, why not have deviled eggs for breakfast? Um, so what I did was I made a little bed of spinach leaves. I took two hard boiled eggs, cut them in half, removed the eggs, yolk, popped it in a bowl with a teaspoon of sour cream, a teaspoon of mayo, a smidge of mustard, and a bit of salt and mix it together. That's the way I like to do it. That's kind of deviled eggs for one. Um, you can obviously make a much bigger batch if you're making heaps and heaps and heaps of deviled eggs, but it's lately just been one of the little dishes I've enjoyed. And this morning I thought, why not have it for breakfast for a little fun spin on eggs for breakfast. So those are my eggs, my deviled eggs for breakfast. And you know what? There's only one day left. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see what I'm having for my day seven breakfast of a week of low carb breakfast ideas. Good morning on this final morning of low carb keto breakfast ideas. This morning I'm going all out and doing a massive fry up. I've got salami which I've chopped into little cubes and mushrooms which I'm going to fry away until it's all crispy and golden. And then I'm going to fry up some eggs to top it with. So I'll show you it once it's all plated up and done. 
There you go. It's a pretty steamy breakfast. I've got two eggs, the second one's hidden underneath there, and the meat is so crispy, and the mushrooms are crispy. I can't wait to get into this breakfast. So that is my breakfast for the final day of low carb breakfast ideas. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I share new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I share videos about food hauls and recipes and meal ideas and what I eat in a day and all kinds of things. So I'd really appreciate if you'd like to subscribe and join the Little Yummy Inspirations community. It would really be great to have you here. And leave a comment. Let me know what's your favorite breakfast when you're on a low-carb diet. Look forward to reading it and we'll see you again soon. Bye.